Dear students, now we are going to discuss the reflection on a transmission line not terminated in Z0. When the load impedance is not equal to the characteristics impedance of the transmission line, then reflection takes place. That is, if Zr is not equal to Z0, then the reflection takes place in the transmission line. So this is the general diagram of the transmission line with the source Vs that is the sending and voltage. Here Zs is the input impedance of the transmission line. Zr is the receiving end impedance. Z0 is the characteristics impedance of the transmission line. If this Zr is not equal to Z0 then the incident wave at the receiving end will be reflected back. Okay. Here we can draw the reflected wave from the receiving end point of view because the reflection takes place at the receiving end. If your transmission line is not terminated in characteristics impedance Z0 then part of the signal is reflected back. The reflection is maximum when the line is open or short circuit. The major disadvantages of this reflection are given here. If reflection occurs, there is reduction in efficiency. Reflection is unwanted echo signal on a transmission line. So we have to reduce this reflection by matching the receiving end impedance with the characteristics impedance. For that we can use impedance matching techniques. Reflection coefficient is a parameter which is mainly used to measure the mismatch between the characteristics impedance and the receiving end impedance that is load impedance. It is defined as the ratio of reflected voltage wave to the incident voltage wave at load. It is denoted as capital K. So it is the ratio of reflected wave at load to the incident wave at the load. Okay. That is equal to Zr minus Z0 divided by Zr plus Z0. Okay, here Zr is the receiving end impedance, Z0 is the characteristics impedance. So here it is mainly used to measure the mismatch between Zr and Z0 of the transmission line. There are three cases we can consider with respect to this Zr and Z0 values. When Zr is equal to Z0, there is no reflection because the load impedance is perfectly matched with the characteristics impedance. Then there is no reflection in the transmission line. The next condition is Zr is equal to 0. When Zr is equal to 0, that is the line is short circuited. The reflection coefficient value is equal to 0 minus Z0 divided by 0 plus Z0. Then we can get minus Z0 by plus Z0. We can divide these two values. We can get the value as minus 1. Okay. If you are going to convert this into polar form, the magnitude is 1 with the phase 180 degree. So in this diagram, at this receiving end, it is short circuited. For short circuited line, the impedance is 0. Here the current is maximum, voltage is minimum. Okay. The third condition is Zr is equal to infinite. When Zr is equal to infinite, that is the line is open circuited end. So in this case, the K value is equal to Zr minus Z0 divided by Zr plus Z0. We cannot substitute this infinite value directly in this formula. If we are going to substitute means we can get K value as infinite. Correct. There is no possibility to get infinite reflection. So we are going to simplify this ratio. For that we can take Zr value as a common one from the numerator and denominator. So here this numerator becomes Zr into this one is 1 minus Z0 by Zr. So similarly the denominator here Zr into 1 plus Z0 by Zr. Then we can cancel this Zr value. So here anything divided by infinite becomes 0. So now we can substitute this value infinite here. So 1 minus Z0 by infinite value is 0 divided by 1 plus 0. So K value is equal to 1 
with phase 0 degree. Okay. So, in this diagram, at this open circuited end, the current is minimum, voltage is maximum. So, this is the reflected wave from this open circuited end. Okay. From this analysis, we come to know that the reflection coefficient ranges from 0 to 1. That is, the magnitude value is greater than 0 and less than 1. And here its phase value is from 0 degree to 180 degree. Okay. So, here it is 0 to less than or equal to 1. Next one is reflection factor. It is defined as the ratio of the current actually flowing in the load to the current flowing under matched condition. So, it is mainly used to indicate the change in current in the load due to the reflection at the mismatched condition. Okay. So, here it is represented as small k that is equal to the ratio of actual current flowing in the load to the current flowing under matched condition. So, we can easily measure the change in current in the load due to reflection at mismatched condition. So, here its formula is k is equal to modulus of 2 into square root of Zs, Zr divided by Zs plus Zr. Here Zs is the sending end impedance or input impedance. Zr is the receiving end impedance or the load impedance. Okay. The last one is reflection loss. As we all know that reflection is an unwanted echo signal at the receiving end due to mismatched condition. So, here the reflection loss is the reciprocal of the reflection factor in Nepper's R dB. So, reflection loss is the reciprocal of the reflection factor. So, small k represents reflection factor. We can write the formula as modulus of Zr plus Zs divided by 2 into square root of Zs into Zr. Its unit is Nepper's. If you want to calculate the loss in dB, we can use the formula 20 log of modulus of Zr plus Zs divided by 2 into square root of Zs Zr. So, its unit is dB. So, we are going to solve problems using this formulas.